A very good evening to you. Welcome again to Obina Show Live. We were here today, daytime twice. Demo Facebook and Otile Brown, and now we're back with the one and only Moya David. It's been an interesting day. We're still at Miali 72 Lounge in Lovington, best place to be. Their food, amazing. My drinks now, my young spear, wanafanya mamboya, Ivy Kawa, she's on site. There's ample parking space, and the privacy is A1. Na internet yao, ukingia po nakamu na stream live, that's why we're coming live to you. So, we want to come live at around 8 p.m. However, I was having a conversation with Justina Siokau. It will air on Thursday. Wow! I'm just telling you, you guys are not ready. Like, she's given me a story that I was not ready for. We had talked for 40 minutes. We spoke for over two hours. And she kept on going. I had to cut the interview short. But she's very, very interesting and an amazing person. But for now, this moment, an inspirational moment, a motivational moment. And also, we're about to have some intriguing conversations with the one and only Moya David. There, I'm trying to look for the title to give you, um, uh -uh. no, 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 yeah, it's in gear, no, no, uh-uh, watch out, nilikuwa ndaku upadea title ingine, nilikuwa ni tachoma, nilikuwa ndaku sema, their daddy, aki mvua isi nyesha, because mvua iki nyesha, oh man, let's hope, okay, mvua iki nyesha, Itabidi mutajipanga tu venye mutatusikia because hapa juu kidogo, eh, munona setting venye kwa hapo juu, so mambo ni live. But of course, the sensational, Moya David. Mambo bro, ukofiti, baberi tu, kupanga panga tu, hiyo <laughs> sapi ya ni mbaya, ebu inuwa hivi kidogo, kamera yoni. Focus kwa saa, focus kwa saa. Aki, kamera menu wangu, kamera menu wangu kidogo. Ndiyo hiyo chupiga kimokte lapo polite. Wewe, uja wapatia. Nadea na sinja vaa signature. Uja vaa signature. Uja na nime vaa suti, so. Eee. But unaivanga baka na suti. Nyo staki kue off. Ooo. But singi machi na shati ya white. Inge machi na shati ya white. Viatu vivachi na nini. One thing I'll commend you for, you always dress the part. Unakuanga na luku. Yes, and since wache kufanya karate, ha ha ha. Do you know where I met you first? Yeah. Where? I think, uh, was it to go on a activation? Yes. Yeah, Mozart bed. Yes, at yes, Gong Rescue. Yes, I remember. Kujia puna, I'm going to go to the empire. That was huh? the first time also I met Ambare, I think. Hey, my like baby. That was the first time. That was the first time you met me and my baby. Yeah, we were in the same space. We, we yeah. follow each other to... <laughs> Like you know, me me God has been good to you, yeah, bro. Yeah, sure. God has been so good to you. I was just telling you before we start the live, I remember the last time we were talking with you deeply, you just bought your first car. Yeah. And you were telling me the way, hey, bro, I was like, yo, that's what's up. And then say, bro, you push G-Wagon. I don't even have a G-Wagon. <laughs> I don't even have a G-Wagon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Forget about that. <laughs> Introduce kwa mama pia mimi. Hata mimi nataka. Bro, see you dance. Mimi lakini unaweza si bado wewe ni comedian so ni wachekeshe. Mimi hey. nataka G wagon. Ni gari ya mama. Nimeiona hapa. Unarudishwa mama gari yake siku gani? This called baptism by fire. Hiyo ni yango. You actually bought a G wagon. Yes, yes. You know I saw the stories online and I was like Labda mepiga picha tuna gari ya wenyewe. But si umeyona kwa paki. But pia si labda mama shalala. Unajua wana lalanga mapema. Si wangu nasikia likuwa maju. Oh, are you koloko? Ama si, nikuwa nimesikia. No, ukona katha. Mili sikia ukona katha. Kuna mwenye na own spa. Kuna mwenye na own ile shop ya makeki. Kuna mwenye na kupia magari zake. Na kuna mwenye na kulipanga matrips za ninu na jifanyo mena kudansia watu huko. We? Which we'll talk about. But the G-Wagon. Which year? Hiyo ni 2017. How much was it? Si pesa mingi. Ngapi hiyo kidogo hiyo? Hmm? Actually, I, I was working for a company, so kununuwe likuwa easy because wadine pay some... Uh, discounts. Yeah, some discount. If you saw, the, I was uh, promoting a certain company, ya magari, hmm. kwa hapo kidimani. So okay. we, we made a deal with them. Okay. Yeah. So you got it at how much? The money I can't mention because it was a deal. Okay, ballpark figure. Yeah. Usituambi exact, but wambi likuwa na chese ya maali yapa. Yeah, likuwa na chese ya maali yapo 9 million. Kisha pewa, a discount. 
Jiwako 9 million. Mm. <sighs> After kupewa discount. Wanaweza ni pio discount pia. <laughs> if you're working for them, well and good, but I can connect you. Jiwako ni 9 mic. Yeah. 2017. Yeah. Iko. Ai, kwani that was a very nini is the basic nini. Okay, it's fine. I will not judge. I love the car. I saw it. It's dope. I'm just wondering. So, we have to pay the balance. Ah, uh, balance is not Maliza, but I'm still working with them. Oh. It was a long term deal. Oh. Yeah. Oh, nile for one year to balance. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Because also my red card is high. Red card pay me panda. Mm. But you are going to go handling yake. Coffee. Steamer. The Naku, engine size is. Lift to Mr. Kunipe lift. Staki zoma temptation. Munataka kuniweka ndani. Do you know marafiki zangu wangapo kuna Range Rover? Mbona sitaka ngo nipe lift? Wacha nibaki kwa Tuareg yangu. Nikiingia kwa Range naingia kwa yangu. Sitaki pressure. Ni kama kwa kutembelea mtu bara ameishi kwa compound Karen. Unatoka ngapo uki feel like a failure. Na sasa hiyo kumbe umetoka kwa slam, ume improve kidogo. Sitaki. Mimi nipige tu story. Nijue tu engine capacity yake ni size yake tu. Is it uh, is it diesel ama petrol? Petrol. 3000 cc 4 4.5 amo na skuma tu mi na skuma tu moyo mi amo i'm happy when my people win i love it i saw the car it's it's, it's beautiful and i've seen what you've been doing uh, all through. However, your life has, when you were starting, a lot of people are celebrating you. Everybody. Now, Kumbo, when you did Kula Kula show, you told me you used to go to Ma Soko, Wamama Wano Karibisha, everything. Yeah. Uh, I even called you for my kid's birthday, yeah. remember, and yeah, I paid yeah. you, by the way. Yeah. But you're my friend. Then later, when you started winning too much, what was Kazakh Sema? Wait a minute. We wanted you to succeed, but <laughs> not to that level. You know, there are people always like, ah, we want to succeed. Sana. <laughs> eh, is it my 15, my 20, my colleagues, I will make my 50? Uh, no. Oh, let me comment you on something. The same guy that you used to use back in the day, you was kept in the team. Yeah. Shkilia. When you were in Some people are going to fire their team, then they change their team. They are going to change their team. They are going to change their team. They are So, people saw you growing. Then at some point they started fighting you. Yeah. You've had a number of situations here and there, yeah, okay? Sure. That we're gonna be talking about them in a little while. Uh, but before we talk about the negative part, let's talk about the positive sides. Yeah. Social media, say you may happy. In terms of following, yeah. yes. TikTok, I think, ni kona 4.7 million followers. E. IG, ni kona around up to 300. YouTube, ni kona to 90 up to 1,000. Facebook peer, I think around 200k. Account yaka TikTok haijai baniwa? Haijai baniwa. Si zetu zina baniwa left, right and center. <laughs> Tunajaribu tu tena na tena. What's the secret? I think for me, I, I feel like uh, most of the time what we went alive, I think wana interacting sana na mafans wao. Sometimes muna cross yana na wengine hapo. Oh. I feel like most of the time ina kuanga hivyo cuz unajua ukiingia live on a daily basis kuna mtu akutaki mtu so, mwingine mtana ongea so, una mwokota eh, pia una mwokota so hiyo mimi feel ni kama watu crossiana na mafans wao somehow and then unapata wana report account yao yako ama kitu kama hiyo oh. so for me i i really go live oh live na wewe tricky yeah, so unajua because my essence ni surprise so the more people see me the more people get used to me so by the time unaenda kusurprise mtu asha kuzoea si kale kama ka by the way anashindanga pale live kitu kama hiyo so there's there's no wow factor about it yeah. like ah tulikuwa na live akaniongelesha mbaya yeah. wacha asonge yeah, yeah. Oh. so that's it so that's the secret nice nice i saw juzi you try to introduce another character mm -hmm. how is it working ila kuruka kutoka juu ya mti na ngoza wa chinese iko poa yeah. It's only that I paused it for a while because of a Valentine. I have so many characters and ideas, but yeah. it's pending. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So what was the concept of behind that? Yakuruka from the tree. Okay. I wanted to come in, come out with Juni Mimi. Because now, what was shining is the essence of surprise. So I wanted to do it in a way, and our Juni, 
like this is more doing the same. But it's still just you. Eh? It's me, like I actually wanted to start a new account, but ah, because let me just push it here. Here you go to the intro too. Oh. So what I do, nikianza content, ni kama na test nione how is it? What to may receive aje? Okay. Waki receive poor. Una songa na yeye. That's the way ni dianza na yeye karate. Ni dianza na yeye watu waka ipenda ni kanzo kupata following. Kasonga na yeye. Kasonga na yeye. Tena ni kai drop ni kanzo ingi na yeye. Ah. Yeah. Okay. And they showed me. I saw some lady with a what? Who and yo yo? But una tuski aje audio because moya na kuanga ako ako low spoken. Una tuski apa? Waja tuendele uksi kaka na potea. Oh yes, yes. Where is Omosh? So he can uh, let us know. Yeah, yeah. Tell Omosh so we can know how it's sounding. Kuliko tunini. Also adjust his mic. Poleni mvua imeanza hapa na hapa juu kidogo. Mambo ni live. So, muneza koza kutusikia vizuri. Ukisonga na uko saidi ya nyuma utasikia because haba bado kuna mabati. So, songa na uko nyuma ndi usikize. Unaisikia aje? So far so good. So tungangane kidogo. Moya pia kwa ngi mutu wa mambo mingi. Mic check, mic check. Haa, kana ongezeka. Na nisikia? Ama ni ongeze sauti. Itabidi wa mengeza sauti. Ebu sike vae ya fonti tuambie. Unasikia aje? Ebu watu anatuona live mutuambie muna tusikia aje. Muko aje, Anne Chantel unasema tunasikia, ok? Ati Moya amenona we. <laughs> That's true by there. I saw it as well. Juliet Akai TV. Ebu tuambie muna tusikiaja Isaac Johnson. Na kuona. Mi amor. Asha Wafula from the Gulf. Winnie Wanza. Tune in Kitengela. Njeri Paulina. Sema hey. Okay. Ebu tuone. Iko sawa. Moya amenona mbaka mashavu. <laughs> That's Prince Kiminiski. The sound is good, but unasikia. Iko sawa, you are clear, but moya ongeze sauti, ok? Ongeza sauti kidogo, iko poa, tunawasikia sauti iko sawa kabisa. Ane Gina Isaac Johnson, unawasikia poa sana. Ok, if I told you guys mwacha kutusikia, mutuambia tupandisha sauti because it's raining where we are. So, I saw a lady who was doing the same surprise. She's from your company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sasa wiyo ulimualau na ukam train. She was even doing the dance. Yeah, yeah. How is she doing? She's doing okay. So, let me introduce, but unfortunately, kwa ground, a client walikuwa nakata a madame. Ah. Eh, kama, nanda kusurprise mwa na umu, unapata, madame ataki yo story kabisa. Oh. So, ikakua ikabidi, nisa mimi ndio ni rudi, nikuwe na endelea kufanya. I used to go with them, because I have a, kwa kampuni yangu have so many people, ni kono watu wa saxophone, they normally do live performances, by the way, see me peke yangu mi uenda. Like I have a whole crew. So you can figure man or say they don't the ladies. So you can be to me money in the end. Like what's the issue with you having a lady surprise? Me, I don't want you to surprise me. We don't take a show. Fine, fine. I could just find you. Hey, me and more because they like hey. Because most of them when I partner with work or they are married. So oh, by the way, it's a bit sensitive. Yeah, it's very sensitive. So when we dance, I'm a Mario. Are you feeling it off? I don't feel it. You don't feel like why are you gay? Why are you gay? You don't feel? It's the same too. Msani ya kipaformia my boys hapo chini. Aguna tofauti. No, yu yako inakuanga. Baku geuke. So that's a little bit different from Mikono ju! Mikono! So the only thing I don't do, I don't kneel for men. Ah. Na wapeanga tu mawa, but I don't kneel. Misalamu, handshake. You are menist. But unapopia. Unless maybe ni watoi, maybe. Eh. Na hata pia watoi, I don't kneel. Nile tu ni kama na squat hivyo, that's it. Just kneel for shorties. Yeah. You are a simp. Aujai ambio uka, uka ambio wini gay. Ah, pana. Eh, ume pone, ha? Ume pita katikati yao. But there was a time, eh? I think, since sata ni anze kutrend, eh? Hakuna time watu washa yona maybe my girlfriend, nama kituka hiyo. Until these stories ingine zikaanza kukuja juzi juzi. People actually... Walikuwa na shuko na shindo. Kwa ni uja ama? Haja hitu introduce ya. Uja ama? Kwa aje? Hata mimi niliku shuko at some point. Uki anza anza niko la, ah! This dance as this guy is doing, nasijamuana na any shori. Then that time when I was talking, they ask you, 
au ma clients who may no key client unaambia no hawezi no key clients sijui ni nini ni nini i was just like just to keep it professional you know we waacha bwana watu sio wajinga so kuna client amai kukubamba okay unajua hapo uko job i know that part i know moya remove that from the table that part i know mzee wake amesimama hapa forget about mzee kuna ma client wenye wajaolewa ni boyfriend ama kuna tu client amekupigia wewe ni msurprise yeye mwenyewe kuna madem amekupigia wa surprise peke yao mbele ya watu ndio waonekane sure is to that kuna wenye hata wameji surprise actually wengi i think 15% of the people wameji surprise wameji surprise mtu anani book na ninajua yenyewe ameni book and i go and do the job me as long as i get the money utanipata miale mm. ingia hivi anza tu ku dance yeah. mimi ndakwa oh my god So sometimes hata wow. nikiwa surprise wengine wana overdo mpaka anasema eh sasa <laughs> <laughs> uko like come on man aiko iko hivi sikujua utalia <laughs> wow aki them show this ladies but the good thing the lulu is the solulu ah <laughs> wenye uji surprise nao huwa wamechajiwa pesa vizuri unajuanga aje mtu anaji surprise they, they actually tell me like uko serious mtu anakupigia because sasa our booking it through me they book through the office yeah sasa pia wangu huwa ananipanga mapema ananiambia hii surprise wenye inakaa huyu anaji surprise because now the process ya kuni book i have a company actually nime post i think Nairobi gossip wame ni post juzi nikiwa kwa ofisi nikasikia watu wana hate oh mtu ana hate that i can't do ofisi ya tiju ya surprise ya tiju ya toka kwa ofisi ya wenyewe atitoka kwa ofisi ya wenyewe you know yeah. actually kila mtu anaamua the way you want to to package yourself. Yeah, yeah. No, no. True. Eh, kuna mwenye anataka kubukiwa akiwa tu kejani pale. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uko kwa bedsita nioje? Uko wapi? Uko wapi? This is business management. Kumbe ni mimi. Yeah. <laughs> Ati muko na ngapi? <laughs> Ongeza kidogo. <laughs> But there was a time I realized kuna time nilikuwa natafuta na makampuni sana. So you go have a sit down with the company. They just want to meet you, take some photos with you and then ukienda Oh, to work on a company bro happens many times wastage of time happens and resources yes and resources and energy na ma smile za pure nimetumia fuel yangu yes. nimekamu tukapiga conversation ya one hour at the end of the day nikitoka umepiga selfie na mimi yep. tunapata deal so nikajadai nika, nika ziko too much unaona so i decided, actually there's a time i went to a company sita itaja but i think that guy alikuwa anaingia kwa hiyo company as the I think HR something. Sijui HR manager. So he approached me. Akaniambia venye ako na connection na watu. Sijui anajua ako the. Anajua sijui akina nani. Ame work now. Na anataka tu work na yeye. You know what happened? Imagine tulienda kwa kampuni. He bought I think around 600 chocolates. And then akabai pia roses of flowers moja moja sasa ndakuwa anapea watu moja moja. So akaniambia akantumia contract kwa email akaniambia we are supposed to sign a deal utakulipa this amount of money and uh, but now tukianza i want to introduce you to the ceo so i want you to come this certain day after tumepatana tumeenda meeting kama tatu now the actual day tukaenda imagine i surprised over 200 people in one building mimi kwa secretary sijui kwa nani sijui ofisi gani niki wapatia chocolate and then at the end of the day he didn't pay me anything i didn't get the deal that's it so after that nika realize huku nje kuna kuna tu mambo mingi nikiwanja baridi nikiwanja baridi so i decided let me come up with my own place if you need me you need us to 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 do a meeting but oniambia let's go to sijui which hotel come nini. to the office just come straight to the office hata ukikuja hapo unaona the seriousness with the guy unaona yenyewe huyu because now mtu akini book even when i'm working with companies i siko peke yangu like a whole, it's a whole team it's a whole team yeah. kuna watu mpaka the creative team wanakaa hapo wananiambia this is how we are going to do this project and this and this and this so watu kama hao sasa venye nakwambia unapatanga wamejibook uh, wamejibukia they go through the office by the time inanifikia pia wangu because now when i'm going to the surprise miss hizi pigia client nimwambia eh mimi ni moya nakuja kusubsiwezi so my pa ni ufanya hiyo job anakuanga hapa anaongea na client nini so akiongea na client akifika kwa location anaweza jua kama mtu anaji surprise because unapata the same same person mwenye mnaongea na yeye ndio una surprise because hii surprise inakuwa na kupanga i think tushafanya moja na wewe umeona yeah. like lazima pia wangu afike kwa location aone huyu jamaa amekaa wapi yeah. moya ako na space ya kudance kwa hiyo hizo masinario zote nakuwa nishajua ameni ameni informa na mimi ndo nashika simu hello eh ukiingia mwenye una surprise amevaa suti iko na 
amevata ya red e, ingia tu hapo kando yake e, sawa na kani kasi na kopi <laughs> anakwambia bro huyu anaji surprise fanya kama wewe yeah. wewe ni nani si ukatange hata saa nyingine <laughs> asiwezi katane job is bread i'm telling you mimi mfanya job mpaka saa tisa za usiku eh. overnight you know i i sub, it is a place i also receive people from the airport as well so kuna watu napatanga wana land usiku saa saba za usiku but i also charge overtime from 6:30 you normally charge overtime oh mm. oh wow Because in the company, it's now from 8. Okay, if you get 6.30, we change. Over Now, the international trips I've seen you doing? Yes, okay. So, what, for Dubai international... Dubai, you're paying us on. Yeah? Mauritius. Dubai, yeah, yeah. Uko demand yangu ko very high. Dubai, Juba, I've been Juba almost like 15 times. Uganda, I think, ni almost Now, like... Now, Somali, wanaka kiru, bro. Yeah, wa nimi, like wa South Sudanese, times. wanaka. So, niko na... Sana sana Juba, Uganda, Dubai pia sana sana. Hizo ma Arab countries hizo sana sana. Ma Gulf wapi? Just. Eh. Ni kudansi napeleka watu. <laughs> sasa who was the most dramatic client you ever surprised? Dramatic. Kalia mpaka kakufa. <laughs> oh my okay, God. there is one. <laughs> there, there is one. Ali it was an apartment. So mwenye alikuwa na msurprise akwa alikuwa majuu. So Nike hakuwa anajua. Alikuwa tu kwa nyumba anafanya vitu zake but she's not from she's not a Kenyan. Sikumbuki ha nini but she's not a Kenyan. Okay. So bwana yake alibook anamia ako nyumba fulani hapa na hapa na hapa. You guys just go. So unajua surprises kama hizo zinakuwa ngumu cause pia kuingia kwa hiyo nyumba ni shida. True. Haujui nani anakuja So my peer just goes ndio juu amekaa wapi amevaa aje ama kitu kaya. So huyu mwenye tuli surprise alishtuka sana i think i think alikuwa almost ku pass out eh kabisa alipiga nduru mpaka security wakakuja kwa hiyo nyumba nduru ya oh my god ama huyu ile nduru ya kusia oh my god ile ya kupiga mpaka anaruka ruka anajikuna kicho you like wa eh i think i think i have that video ndai upload hauja upload unangoja nini au hiyo client wako ameweka package ya kuupload oh <laughs> Kuna package ya kupostiwa yeah. but umeamua utampostia tu. Yeah, you know actually most of the time I think people feel maybe niko si yuko active ama moya ni kama alipotea kidogo hapana. Yeah. You see when you're dealing with high end clients hawapendi mambo ya social media sana. True, true. So you don't have to post. Watu so wa 15 tao wanataka yeah, ipostiwe. So watu wa 20 15 eh post. Uja post. <laughs> Na post sana. Wanazumbua sana. <laughs> Watu wa 100 200. Eh so just a prize end. So most of the time people feel like ah moya ni kama alienda, ali disappear but mimi nakuanga job. Every day. Almost every day. Okay, most of the time I'm, I'm normally available from Mondays, Tuesdays. Actually ndio maana niko leo interview because today is on a Monday. Yeah. Monday nakuanga siku yangu ya off sana sana. I relax on Monday, Tuesday ni siku ya ma meetings nini. But ikianza Wednesday kuenda mpaka Sunday. Kwisha. Mima. Yeah. <laughs> oh baby. <laughs> so, huyu mwenye mwenye surprise. Yeah. Muna record ya bwana yake. Ndio tume balance. Alipiga nduru mpaka sasa videographer pia amechanganyikiwa. Sasa hata oh. alijipata ha record. Ah yeah yeah. Like record the first part. Hii nyingine vile alianza nduru sasa hata sema kimeumana. Pia yakakuwa confused. Wolulu. Kwa ni unanga security wewe? Asinanga security. Na tembeaje kimalenge malenge? Eh yeah, mimi mtu wa watu. Ya yeah, watu watu ndio uliwa na God ni protect. Yeah, yeah. Wale watu wabaya tunawajua wana kanga for long sana because security. <laughs> watu wa watu tu. Hiyo unaenda hivyo mtu anapiga nduru hivyo kidogo. <laughs> oh sorry, ni surprise. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. Can you get up and dance again? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> But the thing is before niende hapo of course most of the people wanakuanga wanajua. Usha survey. Eh. Oh, okay. Tume survey pia. Okay. Yeah. The lowest amount of money you may lipo kufanya surprise. Na mtu akaba gain. Aha. Okay, pa, n- I have different packages. Okay. Cuz kuna package ya miwa siendi. Those are the lowest. No yako. Yangu mimi. Mm. I think. Then you'll say waacha tu niende. Si ati ni rate yako. But I'm like it's okay. Nika wamependana ama something but yenyewe una do because I'm sure you have such clients. Okay, the lowest then you should find ya ile ni part ilikuwa ni an impromptu cuz i was just chilling in a place mtu akaniona akani book sa hiyo hiyo so i was like ah ni aje haraka haraka shikata utano i see the utano mm. i have seven bus that team 
13 ke mm. impromptu impromptu even me I want to dance <laughs> <laughs> 13 ke impromptu yeah, yeah but now you know mimi wana beba kila kitu kwa gari niko na speaker iko hapo ready hey. maua of course chocolate. you are in the military why how would you leave your uniform and your gun so mimi nikipata gig naichapa one time okay mm. kapiga yeah nikaipiga pesa haraka haraka the highest amount you've ever been paid for a surprise the highest i think in around it was 830 apo hiyo naweza kuonesha mpaka proof nataka kuona proof bwana mimi nataka kuona proof in case you doubt 800000 yeah mimi nataka proof moya so my phone is live but i can show you do you could dance yeah so what happened eh? i think at a reason to i went to dubai yeah so when somebody books me for an outside gig sana sana weekend so what happens come on from friday to saturday sunday ni msao sudanese so alikuwa anataka nikae dubai for five days I told you they have money so what i do i count those days cuz pia mimi hapa locally niko na gigs more you would be doing it yeah no, yeah na ninaifanyanga kila like almost every day so i count yeah. on a saturday on a good saturday uh, on a, on a bad days kama saturday naweza fanya surprise ine zikiwa lowest sana nne okay so mimi na mhesabia hizo saturday nne sunday hivyo and then i give you the whole budget kwa sababu au be away yeah. yeah. If you want take, if you don't want step, watch to pick a local. Yeah, so hiyo ni package and then inakuja mimi, videographer wangu na accommodation na security. That's it. South Sudanese, yeah. kakulipa in dollars. In dollars. Wewe na jiwagon. Yule balance mulizema imebaki ngapi? Maybe people people actually some people don't actually believe that, but uh, I think clients wangu wenye wameni book I know they are watching me but when I testify how much I charge for that at a local I mean internationally hata kama ni Uganda wapi so mimi naweza enda trip moja hivi mtu anasema moya yuko kazi but nikiena tu hivi trip moja nisha na pro box tatu yeah. okay how much do you charge now for tuseme wewe kuja ku surprise mtu na chocolate na fanye na wewe mie mmo so uh na kuanga na so many packages i have a package here within nairobi slightly outside nairobi and outside nairobi okay and then now kuna a global package na kuna e. pia within hapa east africa na africa we si tuko <laughs> tuko na global package sisi si tunapiganga tu <laughs> <laughs> look at my bia my bia is like what global package <laughs> Ate moja amechaka jiki la global. Sina kwa tu obina. Eh ngapi? Muko na 40. Tunakuja zai. So how much in Nairobi? In Nairobi package zangu zinaanza sai. Red card ya sai ni 29. 29,000. Mm. Lakini kwa hiyo package haikuji tu ati inakuja. You know I I do I have a bakery as okay. well yeah? okay. so we provide the cake okay and the gift as well okay. the gift package comes from me okay so ukipiga hesabu si ndio mkuchaji 29 okay yeah, yeah. Go slightly out of nairobi inaanza from around 35 hiyo ni kino okay kino. 29 29 <laughs> ni yenye high post sorry to say ah uh, yeah hiyo kuna yenye high post na yenye na post 29 so yenye na post ni 39 34 yeah. so data bundle unanunua 5000 na ma junior iPhone ukipiga hesabu nikicharge mtu 29000 i i buy the cuz sasa cake ni around 1500 2500 ninunue bouquet of flowers chocolate card party popper and the the so basically 9000 umetumia so wenye lipa 20 na pia fuel Oh, no it's in Nairobi so fuel ya 500 surely yeah. oh, but ni jiwagon so ta mbili yeah, yeah, yeah. so basically 18 ni yako eh, 11 ni ya kupanga everything hiyo ni kama ipostiwi tuseme hivyo si ndio haya mm. umesema kino 87 <laughs> mulolongo tukianza <laughs> kutoka Nairobi eh, see, that's out of Nairobi 87 mm. kino mlolongo kitengela atiriva Eh, tucheze na eh, Karen <laughs> embulbul tucheze na embulbul trudi tika road ukipita tu hivi roisambu ehe ngapi 
Wewe sambu bado I think uko No ukipita mm. kidogo to slightly aiongezeke na pesa mingi ni around 4000 hapo. Oh that's slightly, slightly yeah. out of Nairobi. Mm. Haya Kisumu. Kisumu sasa uko ni I think around from 80 there. 80 90. 80000. Kufanya hivi Kisumu. Jo Kisumu. <laughs> Let me talk to my people. Na Kisumu watu wa Kisumu wako na pesa by the way. Uko nimeenda sasa. I know that's why I want to talk to my people. Watu wa Kisumu. You are on. <laughs> Me <Meme. laughs> sita lipisha 80. Ni kwetu nitajileta 20. <laughs> maua tunachuna. Come on. Unataka maua ama samaki? You have to decide. <laughs> Utakula maua. Anyango. Think with me. <laughs> okay, the reason why I charge that because eh. uh, mtu anaweza feel ni expensive kidogo. Okay. Tukitoka outside the, outside Nairobi, package pia ina increase. Kama ni keki inakuwa 3 kg. Mm. Unajua hii ya 29 ni 1 kg. Package pia ina increase. Unabeba keki mpaka Kisumu. Zingine kama asibebi kwa kampuni yangu mm. I order for you from there. Mimi ndo oh. nashughulikia. Na mtu akisema hataki keki. Aki, kama hataki keki you can decide you want an extra gift. Kitu yote tu. Hiyo gift na kwanga ni chocolate. Ah, unaweza decide. Kuna mwingine anasema simu, mwingine anasema anything. Simu. Yeah. Kuna watu wao uchukua iPhone unaongeza do nini. Eh. But funny enough, sasa mali kama Kisumu I, I don't travel by car. Hiyo inakonga ni of flight. Of course it's flight so they pay. And then now huko inakonga full package. Si mimi peke yangu na perform. I do a performance and then you get a live performance from my band. I have a band kuna ma saxophonist all those people. Hizo okay. cuz sasa watu feel ni kama moyo anakuja tu afanye 100 and then naend for 90,000 hapa na ikwangi hivyo. Once I'm done with my performance, okay. I do a hype set for the crowd. Oh. No na. Like ni kama I saw you doing in uh, was it Uganda or Rwanda? Yeah, Uganda. Somewhere. It was Uganda. Uganda. Yeah. I do a hype a hype power session ya almost like oh, maybe 30 minutes hivi ama anawa thati alafu after some time thati hiyo ni hype session and then uh, kuna kuanga na live performance okay kama mwenye tuna surprise ako na favorite songs zake zenye anaweza taka achezewe kwa birthday yake unatuambia in advance so my team prepares and then they perform they it. so by the time hata unapiga hesabu ya 90 unaona yenyewe it was worth it Uh, Ai kwangi ati mimi ndio nakuja na andia mo hapo alafu naenda hapa <laughs> ndio umenishtua eh. eh. so outside nairobi is that 90 or 80 yeah. global global sasa inaanza in dollar sasa huko ma 3500 5000 ina depend 5000 dollars yes bro unajua 5000 dollars ni pesa ngapi yes, i know I can show you proof by the way. No, I'm not doubting you. I'm just shocked. I'm, I'm full of bagasted. I am dumbfounded. Mm? I am speechless. Watu wanatengeneza pesa na mimi nimekaa hapa miale nimekazana na interview watu the whole day. Ndio ningoje pesa ya YouTube. Aya, <laughs> guys, you need to strategize eh. Come up with ideas. We need to go global to dance ama to do something. Kuna mtu ameko sasa kukulipa? Eh, unakula soft moya unakula soft sana aujairushwa funny enough eh is a global most of the people they work on an open budget by the time mtu anakubukia flight yeah. alipia watu kaa watatu huyo ni mtu ako ready yes. si mtu anakuja atimu argue most of them they work on an open budget you tell them the price they don't bargain that's Kisha. it watu local ndio kidogo mtu wa 29 ah moya but na waelewa pia unajua eh hey. Au oh, unajua ni daily clans. <laughs> Watu wana repeat. Eh yeah, repeat clans. By now you've surprised how many people? In total. I think uh using me nimefanya head count. Mm. I think in around 2500 and something. 2000 people times 29. Umesha <laughs> end You made 58 million. Ai moya wewe. Aya wacha hata tuduce 29 wacha tuweke hata kama ni 10000 basi per person 20 million Eh hiki tiko na pesa Hiyo ni bila promotion Eh Now I understand Unajua mimi nilibelieve story yake kwa kwa na mumama Hata naona watu wanasema hapa kama Joyce anasema I have a question. Izo do zote mbona wekwe na mumama? Ni swali tu sina ubad. The same same question I was asking myself. It's only that tuwezi yanza kwenda kuambia watu do the maths. 
Because I think for me, you're my friend, eh? Yeah. You know me. Yeah. I think even the first time I bought my first car, I didn't post it. True. Nobody even saw it. Nobody saw it. Yeah. So I don't kuna vitu mimi wa siweki kwa social media cause I only post something and then I feel it's relevant. Kitu kama biashara. Yeah. Kitu kama spa you need people to go there. But true, you, you true. don't have to show. Ati unumenunua gari naishi wapi? Up to now najua wewe maybe unaweza kuwa hauko sure naishi wapi. I don't know where you live honestly. Exactly. Mimi nafikiria bali uliama sio kimao. I don't I don't tell people eh <laughs> naishi wapi? Niko na gari gani na venye nyumba inakaa hizo ni hizo ni, ni vitu tu private so i was feeling like i don't need to explain myself nianza kuambia watu nimeeka ama sikuwa nimeeka cause ukiangalia i'm going outside the country yeah. naenda hizo hizo tu zote hizi kwa nimeenda tu kupanda ndege nirudi steve ndako fix si mike haya si fix basi alafu pia mvua imerudi sasa mkisikia kama audio imeenda hivi mtuambie tupandisha sauti Aya, mukisikia nini mtuambie tupandishe. So, story yake kwa kwa na mumama was a lie. Hiyo ni ruma. Ndio maana ilikuwa inaitwa wanaandika hapo ruma, wanasema it was a ruma. The story that was there eh Ruga akikuja Kenya the first time I think Mombasa. Sofaya kimleta nini nini? Story was wewe ulikuwa chalia Sofaya ndio sababu ulipanda stage nini nini mkapanga everything so ikukwa it was her birthday right yeah mimi nilibokiwa nifanye surprise i did my part and that's it yeah ikwa mboga yako my friend i did the surprise and that was it ai surprise ya kwanza ilikuwa ya ruga i think iko kwa page yangu kwa ig yeah. i did that and then i did her surprise as well si tuliambiwa sofaya ni mboga yako kwanza kienyeji moja wakasema hii ni mboga ya moya kwanza ndiye ana finance maisha ya moya nini 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 yote ni uongo hizo zinaitwa rumors yenyewe watu wanaongea until mtu akuje hapa okay you are my you are my friends ndio yeah by by then lazima ungekuwa unajua kuna story yeah yeah did you yeah. know that no that's why i was like moya i'm like maybe i don't know i don't know where the guy lives ni mtu msecretive Aya. Ukatoka huko kidogo kidogo ukakimbia ukafungua spa. Wakasema ni mumama wako amekuwekea. Kati mbona hajafungua kinyozi? Mbona amefungua saloon? So funny enough eh? Before I even open that spa, honestly speaking, I didn't know her. Before I open that spa, I didn't know her kabisa. Oh. Mm. Bonu lifungua spa ni because uko na break. In, she came in for business. But siku anamjua. By the time I was opening my first spa kwa sababu sina spa moja. Ah. Siko ngapi? I have a spa in Ngong Road, I have a spa in Kitengena. Kuiva there is my spa there. Eh, hey. sawa bosi. <laughs> Sasa ulifungua salon na spa juu pia uko na braids. Ndio sawa uko na shukwa for free. <laughs> Why spa? So the thing is uh, nikianza I felt like demand yangu sana iko side ya wasichana because even if you check my analytics wapi napata around 65% ya watu wameni follow ni madem madem yeah so i felt like i want to do something for them enye hata mtu akiena kama sita msurprise i feel ah ni kama nimepata service kwa moyo hata aende tu atengenezwe nail something like that okay hivyo how did you take it when guys were saying umekwa na mama and you know very well you've worked hard for your money i think for me I was okay with it because at the end of the day you don't have to keep explaining yourself. Yeah. Yeah, like at this is my this is my spa. The spa is still there and it's running by the way. Walisema ulifungwa. So actually I decided not even to close it. Or oh, you decided not to close it. Yes, yes. You wanted to close it. No, I was I was just selling. Yeah. I was selling it and then I decided not to sell oh, it. Oh, you are selling it. Yeah. Why? I was investing in my company that that time yeah the surprise company yeah, yeah, yeah okay so i had invested a lot of money for your company so i felt like i want to what today is pamoja cause the space by then your space yake haikuwa that unajua kwa spa inataka very big space okay if you check my my spa ya yangong road haiko spacious sana so i wanted to shift it to another location 
So niliana nikafungua ingine kitengera. Hata siku ifunga. Nikasama rasta ifunga. Nikafungua ingine kitengera. So if you go to kitengera in Kuiva, yu kalabineto Kuiva, there is another one big one there. Kuna, iko na barber shop na iko na spa pia. Salam. Okay. Yeah. Odio iko aje? Mvua iko juu? Ebu wacha mafansu watuambie. Ebu mtuambie, muna tusikia ama mvua imefunika mvua imefunika audio no sound is sound is okay okay sound is okay my crush obina oh and chantel thank you true no need to explain yourself to people just do you my guy audio iko sawa live and clear sauti iko sawa iko best we are good to endele iko poa director mbona uko na wasiwasi ah ah wacha kusikiza ma fans wana tusikiza nyimbo kwa hapa ndani hii nini wewe unasikiza na maski wengine nasikia mvua na hapa Hawa ndi wako live, volume yuko chini. Haya, ongeza receiver ya, ya moya kidogo. Live yuko sawa, live yuko best, sauti yuko sawa. Show yuko good, sauti yuko chonjo, tuko sawa, tunasikia, always on top. Ah, wana tusikia, tuko sawa, tuendele. In case there's any audio issue, mutuambie because mvua inanyesha. Mutuambie tuwaze kusema, aleluya. <laughs> but for now, tuko sawa. So, pia inuwa sauti kidogo. Sawa, sawa. So, ilikuwa uclose spa, ukafungua ingine, ukasema hata wacha nisifunge. How is the spa performing? Is it making money? It's making money. Ama niweo na finance na... It's making its own money. Na inalipa employees? Yeah. Oh. Na shop yaka kusurprise watu ilikuwa nga South B ama... Hey, it's oh, it's still there. Yeah. So you go there every day for office checking bookings and everything. Okay. Shop Yangong Road is also working. Yeah. Are we opening any other business? Of course, I have other businesses. Like in Sasa C is or then you have to do it. Oh, you no know, open zingine. Nafanya forex. Okay, zema si lazima to do it. Kuna nasema ati yo ni Forex. <laughs> Kuna watu wapo wanasema, we ni mpole. Uh, that is true. Moya is always very calm. Then kuna watu wanasema, kumbo umejipake jiki maka mwena nasafikia una kakitu kumbo unakafunga. Bado wamekuwa mwa kwa 58 million. Wanasema KRA itakukujia. <laughs> Uliza Moya mbona ataki kutusurprise in Garissa County. By the way, sijawa yenda Garissa. There was one time I was to go there, like in a thing could have issue na security kidogo, so other there was a time I was supposed to go to Sudan Pia. On only time Walikwana Suji kuna fight nini. They couldn't be booked like two weeks before your fight yanze. But because of your insecurities and everything, we at 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 end we cancelled that book. Oh. Yeah, so sometimes your security Umogopa kwani kwenda nini kwani wataiba maua. <laughs> Amegoma kwenda Garissa wazime maua wataiba nyota wao waibe nyota eh when he started i remember it was 14k is i need 29 eh hey, by the way ulianzia pesa ngapi huyo ni fan wangu by the way huyo naye ananijua anakujua ilikuwa 14 eh ilikuwa 14 of course bay lazima ipande lakini by the way nara siko na baia watu ma, ma gift package eh yeah, ilikuwa by the way, actually mimi nilianza ku charge 15 ilikuwa oh yes 14000 Hmm. That was the lowest package in Eliana. Nilianza nazo time. Nilianza tu ku trend hivyo nilianza na 14. Yeah. Then baadaye ukaanza kuongeza kaanza kuongeza bei pole pole. Yeah. Okay. Moya anatengeneza pesa hakuna kuwekwa na mumama case closed. Hey. Prince Kiminiski ama Mini Sky amekujia hapa na kutetea. Ambia Moya kama anataka manager kama waotile. <laughs> Ambia tume email. Tuma email. <laughs> Muda na kuita ba kizi. Wa kizi! Duko mwenga nasema kuja kizi. Usurprise my girlfriend. How much? Si umesikia tukisema ni how much? Aki. Mbewa tu wengi ufikiria mine mkisi. Sijui kwa nini. Wa si mkisi? Ah. Wendi mluya? Mi si mkisi. Wendi mluya? Ata usiwambie by the way. Don't say it. Leave it like that. Because normally when you say it, People categorize you differently. So to watch you, we seem kissy now, we seem lawyer. Yeah, now when you're ready for some kamba, yeah, to watch you, he's of your to Zamoya Zimeweza. Ebu inua weka hapa. 
kiatu moja hapo tuone wewe eh weka weka ana sports weka hapa juu kwa nini ogopa these are labutins wewe okay these are very expensive shoes by the way if you don't know about christian labutins ndio hizo red bottoms baby na suti pia unajua hii ni suti ni baberi leo nimekuosha vibaya but that's a mimi stengenezi 58 million hii ikienda sana hii haiwezi vita dao tano ah no no hapo umeniweka chini sana nimepita ngapi hii ni 11k 11k eh lakini ni bei ya jioni ara tuli negotiate of course hawezi niweka kwa the same level na wewe nimepiga baberi mpaka troza by the way sa full so ni sawa uko na watoto Uh-uh. Very good. <laughs> Unalipia mtu yote rent? Unalipia mtu school fees? Medical? Uko na baby mama? Very good. Wengine wetu <laughs> sisi ndo tunaweka wa mama. <laughs> wengine wakiwekwa na wa mama, wengine wetu sisi tunaweka wa mama. So, I'm not competing with anyone, I'm okay. Penye niko pole pole, mimi usema kama singekuwa na watoto moya hata singekuwa hapa saa hizi. Mimi amunge kwa mnanishifikia nini. Watoto ni blessing by the way. Hiyo ni uongo. But it's true. Watoto ni liability. Liability lakini pia ni blessing. Bro kuna watoto? Bado. Then why are you talking? So I'm, I'm just saying it's a blessing. How do you know? Good. Wacha wale wako na watoto waonge. <laughs> watoto ni liability. But your blessing inakuja na vibe wana come nayo na pia kuna watoto wenye si blessing. Trust me. Their children who their children who are curses their children who are blessing and also their children wenye wako tu okay yeah. na kuna wale wenye blessing yao ni vibe na kuna wale wenye blessing yao ni kukutoa from doing bad things to change to be a better person now that's a blessing but hapa watoto ni liability hapo siwezi argue you are in a better very good. position eh? very good sasa yeah. ni supova babari ni spendesha chiwago nikichanga ndo ninunue range rover muni understand na balance nasema aka kamefukuzwa school fees ndio aweka kwa nyumba one week tuna balance unaangalia ni nani ule msmart mwenye <laughs> nimlipie ni kwanza unasema wacha tulipie huyu vitu malize hao wengine wanaweza ngoja kidogo hao watu wakienda hawashiki <laughs> wakikoa ngoja uko zile ni nani tu huyu anakwanga na immune system ngumu huyu wacha kunywa tu panadol a relax huyu tusipombeleke kwa hospitali atutalala <laughs> so parenting Abana. comes with balance exactly manguo pia huyu ako na nguo mbili anaza va for the next one month huyu ana nguo wacha nimrudia moja refu avae bila sasa <laughs> ni kujipanga so we piga luku enjoy how old are you now i'm 26 i'm turning 27 yes. my birthday is in a, in a month eh? in a month time tuite tukule keki what i would recommend yeah. and i always tell most men ngoja ufike 30 ndo waze kufiria stories za watoto for now invest put systems where if you have children at 30 you'll be able to take care of them i had my first born at 20 i didn't know any better that was my first sexual experience i was amazed wow oh my god nene nene before i know yo niaje kuna kamutu hapa hizo vitu unajua mapema wewe exactly so now that you have me learn from me because ukiza sasa hizi hata hiyo jiwagon because you'll want your child to live a good life so take them to an expensive school expensive clothes a nice house a nani nini everything so before a child comes make the infrastructure what you are doing now so usijaribu niliona uli post girlfriend yako hata kupende aje before you are 30 bro mweke kale ka something hapa ka 5 years kama wezi hiyo hand break that's a fire term mweke hand break kama wezi mweke hand break mweke clutch <laughs> umenicheki kama wezi hand break na clutch weva he helmet okay tumeelewana because kuna wale wanasema oh mimi siwezi hand break mwingine oh mimi spendi clutch vahal helmet yako toka na mamorio wako because bro watoto wakikuja everything has changed am i talking to somebody me i'm happy seeing my boys winning i want you to win enjoy life travel experiment live life whatever ukifika 30 decide to settle down and probably have a child you can even settle down now but mtoto but unajua ukisettle down na mtu na muachane na mtoto it's better than mkiachana na kona mtoto because automatically it makes your baby daddy 
makes a baby mama. Two separate people trying to raise one person. Very complicated. Tuko sawa? Na wachane na wamama. But... Ni acha kwa surprise. Nda kwa sabi ya shara. Nda kwa surprise. Aya, wanaume wale wenye una surprise ingi. How do they normally take it? I've seen you surprise some guys. Are you feeling awkward? Most of most of them, they are my fans. Hata kuna nyona nyona nga sema, oh my. Akisha nyona, akiona tu sura yangu. Kwisha. Anajua mepatikana. But most people who book you are men to surprise their women. Yeah. Women to surprise men. Ziko, okay. Hizo, most of them zina kuwanga private. Oh. Because men na wapendi social media sana. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ujia surprise kimutu wakakata kasema Mimi Funny enough, mimi yakuna surprise yangu shai backfire It's only one, na hiyo siku backfire I went, nuna venyo me tengeneza hii setup ya lighting Nini ya makamera nini Haina kufanyia mtu moja surprise Halikuwa so much excited and akimbia mbio, anaenda wapi Kidogo nilisikia lighting menipiga kichwa Umerudi Sasa lazima tuanze 0 tena kwa sababu client amekimbia ai 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 ndio hiyo writing inaniangukia but sijai pata ati surprise ina backfire ah. most of them already wananijua wewe uko na favor mm. when you started the karate thing you used to do it a lot with lit boy yeah. then ukaomoka ukamlenga I, i don't think that that's the term yeah. si kumlenga I think are uh, you guys still friends? Yeah, we are still friends. We meet. But why are you not working with him? Cuz uh, he's a brand, I'm a brand. Yeah, but brands can come together and become even a more powerful brand. We've already done that before. Yeah, you are starting look karate. So what happened? Uh there, there was a, there's a big team behind that. See your little boy peke yake. Maybe some of them you don't know them. But I think unajua hey, vijana wa miondoko hao wanafanyanga hiyo. So that used to be a whole team. It used to be me, lead boy na hao vijana wa miondoko. We used to be in the same team but I was their leader. Yeah. And then the, the, my videographer Sain mwenye ni pia wangu he used to be yeye ndiye anarekodia kila mtu. Oh, okay. So yeah, ali aliwaomokea. Wa, <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> we used to have a dance academy. I used to train there lakini hao walikuwa wako behind the scene. So it was a crew by the way. Okay. Yeah, ilikuwa inaitwa DMK Captures eh. Okay. So uh, after some time, unajua as a crew muki muki lazima you have a, a mission, na vision na nini na yeah, kila kitu. Yeah, so yeah. it ilifika point line. fulani tuka, because we used to be more on YouTube than okay. on other apps kama TikTok wapi. Huko watu kwa serious sana. Okay. So it reached a point tuka realize by the way YouTube ni ngumu sana kuwa na pesa. If you're a dancer na you're dancing to people's songs iko na copyright So most of the time you won't get anything from YouTube. Tutafuta tu naekea copyright. So we had to get another way of doing things. Tukaona kuna hii app imekama up. I was like kila mtu afungue account yake sasa. Okay. Kukuwe na Moya David, kukuwe na Lit Boy, kukuwe na huyu wa Miondoko, kukuwe na huyu. At least kila mtu anaweza fanya content yake. yake. So by then Lit Boy na hao vijana wengine because people only know Lit Boy but kuna wengine. Yeah. Na nielewa. So after some time kila mtu akafungua channel yake tukaanza kufanya content so ikafika maana then we had a sit down and I was like ni kama hii hapa hatujaielewa vizuri for you to trend you, you need to do content yenye watu wanapenda iko iko too exciting so by that time i remember the first video actually did boy alifanya it was it was my idea i was talking the idea hapo nikaona did boy ameenda na akaifanya and it was good And then we started giving him more ideas and more ideas. Actually this boy had trained before me. Okay. In case you didn't know, he like kupiga nduru. Yes. Okay. Before that ata kupiga nduru there is a content that alikuwa anafanya before. Na nilikuwa nampea ideas nini na nini. So when he had toka wa kwanza, I used to support him. Unajua if you are if you are kama wewe ndio mkubwa you need to support the other people. Yeah. Wa song. So me what I did, I helped him. Because I was more confident than him. By the way, little boy wakianza he wasn't that confident sana. Yeah. He used to fear people kwa street na nini. So sisi ndio tuko huko behind the scene ya kumwambia you can do this so chat. Twende eh, kazi. Actually akibukiwa I used to go with him. Akisha perform mimi naenda naongeza ka hype hivi mtu asiseme ah huyu jamaa amekuja tu akapiga nduru akaenda. 
So I used to support him as a friend. Okay. Ile naenda pia mimi napiga hype yangu watu wanafurahi. Akitaka kunilipa, akitaka kunipe kitu, well and good. I'm just doing it to help a brother. Juu yeye akisonga pia mimi nasonga. Yeah. So we did that for some time, but by then nilikuwa na idea karate ya, ya taekwondo actually. Hiyo nguo ni ya taekwondo. So for me I've done taekwondo. I have a black belt. Eh Mm. Kumbe unaweza tandika mtu vibaya? Vibaya sana. Mimi nilifikiria ni jokes. It wasn't. Siku si moja jokes. karibu ni kujaribu. Si jokes. Sema huyu mtu wa karate siku moja. Na ni try. Si jokes actually in my office. Juzi picha yenye Nairobi gossip wali post. Kulikuwa na flag ya South Korea. So people are asking, "Bona huyu jamaa ameweka flag ya South Korea ama mumama wake ako South Korea?" <laughs> <laughs> hey bro, so you know, unapiga masafa mpaka machingchong. <laughs> Mimi mimi na wana vita moja ya mumama. So anything kila mtu kwa wakiona tu kitu hivi mumama. Yeah. At the end of the day you don't you don't need to prove to people. Yeah, like yeah. mimi niliona hakuna haja. So hiyo flag the reason I have that flag is because when I was doing taekwondo one of my masters alikuwa ni huko. You know taekwondo imetoka South Korea yeah? yeah. So my master alikuwa ni South Korean. So yeye ndiye alini train throughout. Before that ni omoke or anything I've gone to Korea twice. The first time I won I won a medal, it's actually in my office, a first place. Kulimana tu. Yeah. Haya! It's in my office by Hoya! the way. There's a proof. So I felt like Korea iko close to my heart cuz by me nilipanda ndege my first time kupanda ndege I was in form 2. Kwenda kulimana. Nilikaa tu hivi nikaambua bro, wewe ume qualify na unaenda. Hadi then nilienda huko nikakaa 2 months. So I felt like juu sijawahi panda ndege. So that was my first time I felt okay. special. So hiyo kitu bado nakuwa nimeshikilia. That's why I have a flag there. So um. mimi niko na kwa nyumba hii niko na uniform kama ngapi? Saba. Niko na belt zote kuanzia red, green, all those baka black sasa. So for some time niko nashindwa. Okay. Nili train vita nikafanya hizi vitu zote but nasa hizi uniform sizitumii ama sifanyi anything. So that's when the idea came ya kufanya hii content ya taekwondo kasa mara sina hizo vai kitu alafu nenda nichokoza watu nione so nikichokozana i know kikidoka unaweza lima mtu k1 eh juwezi enda tu hauwezi enda tu watu nenda kuchokoza watu hivyo so i kwa na kwa lazima mtu msi atatandikwa siku moja so i did it for some time yeah. but by then juu nilikuwa nataka hiyo content ikuwe funny nikabidi niweke nani lit boy ndani juu sasa lit boy alikuwa na plan ile ya refari ah. so when i was doing the content ikafika mahali dit boy ame shoot na ana trend nani yanawa so i know you understand your pressure ya ku trend yeah. you need to do a lot of content ndio watu wasikusahau yeah, na ndio back to back eh yeah, back to back so na mimi pia i'm doing content na namuhitaji kwa content yangu nani yanawa so most of the time ikakuwa ako busy aki shoot Ah. Na my guy there yeye alikuwa na mshoot. So alikuwa na mshoot na anani shoot. So unapata most of the time net boy was busy. Of course aki grow hivyo managers come in unapata kuna manager amekuja amepewa kazi stuff like that. You know some managers they start misleading people eh, moya labda si mzuri stuff like that but managers come in start talking giving you new dire- new new directions and everything. So for me I felt like Little boy ametoka acha tumrelease kwanza apush hii content ya cuz the more i called him the more hapati time yake ya kufanya content yeah, so i started yeah. doing my own so me the whole idea ku surprise watu i had it in mind kitambo sana actually little boy knew the idea hata before i did it my videographer i used to tell them mimi niko na idea hapa ya ku surprise watu nakumbuka hii choreography ya mia moja nilikuwa naifanyia kwa bafu I remember that kodo nilifanya kwa bafu I went to a dance class nikaonyesha Ditbo namwambia eh kuna kodo kwa kuna bafu ya kubwa aje eh bafu ni kubwa sasa hiyo ni zile bafu zinakaa sitting room sawa bossi <laughs> zile za kushika karai unajirushia maji hiyo inakuwa special mpaka ile so hiyo hiyo the whole concept i had it in mind okay sasa kuifanya ndio nilichukua a lot of time but okay. i think it was god's timing kwa sababu time nilifanya tu hivi ndio ni reshoot. So ikabidi cuz every time nikitaka kufanya content napata videographer wangu akona wa nani? Lit boy. Na wanafanya so akona like, bossi. Sitaki kuwasumbua, <laughs> acha tu wafanye kwanza ko. So it reached a point nikasema ah. I think it was around uh, nilikuwa tu kwa nyumba on Saturday I was like eh hey, na hii idea yangu ndio kuja kufanya ni. Nikijaribu kuambiwa ananiambia hapana. 
usivae naambia nianze hii content kivaa ma, manguo zimeraruka sema hapana itakaa vizuri hata hii idea ni kama i make sense eh, sasa siku moja nikaanga kwa nyumba nikajua yenyewe leo leo niko idol nimeot movies zote sijafanya anything i was like ah na yeye anafanya shoot i called him nikamwambia ah i feel like nataka ku shoot video leo na ni lazima ikue leo nikaenda nika shoot video moja hiyo video moja ni shoot ni shoot kwa ni shoot ni shoot na kwa soko na ni surprise mama soko that the was so happy mpaka akanipatia maembe so i went aka edit the video i posted imagine i think in 24 hours video ilikuwa ina, inachezia huko 20 million imagine eh. i'm on tiktok na sasa hiyo niko na 100k followers peke yake so nikiamka asubuhi following napata 100 100, 100 na shangaa what is happening so i was like ah na sinirudi tena kwa soko nifanye the same same thing so i went back to the market nikafanya the same thing but now what people don't know about me wanafikirianga mimi ni mtu nimekuja nika dance juzi na nikaomoka tu unajua nga watu wenye wanatokanga tu mara moja bro mimi nimengangana i've been dancing for you for almost like i think around 15 5 new jokes 10 ni professional but nime dance for me I, i see your dancers even other choreos mimi sema mse tu ameanza dance azifanyezi ma choreo eh mimi nimefanya dance for long and funny enough ara kwa kwa dance academy zangu i used to invite artists sana sana nime work na artists wengi sana kina timeless akina benachi akina jabidi they used to come to my academy by then i think akina carlos akina tire wa dance 98 they, they were trending hiyo time yeah. So mimi I used to do a lot of stuff lakini watu hawanijui. So niko tu chini ya maji. If you go to my channel utapata niko na so many videos. Hata sidhani zime zime they are almost 400. Na funny enough I used to record na sijioni. Ushaifanya dance na uoni. So najonga zile kamera za kitambo zile masoni wewe bora umerecord camcorder. Oh, Set. Unaona eh hey, dance. Unaona tu nguo ndio ina move lakini hauwezi wezi ukiangalia hivi uoni huyu anakaa moya, kai moya. Unaona? So I started way back but people wa juangi wana za ningi moya tu alikuja from nowhere yeah. aka aka trend so nikaenda nikafanya video ya kwanza ika hit 20 million nikaenda nikafanya ingine ikasonga so there was this time now my first time to get paid ati kufanya content ya hii ya surprise ilikuwa ni kampuni they saw what i'm doing because by then nilikuwa nimefanya almost like 50 videos before watu wanijue mimi nime travel mpaka Mombasa for my first time I've never been in Mombasa. I traveled me together with my videographer and Nate Boy kufanya content. Hata mali nilikuwa na lala. Najaribuni kuimagine leo. Usha trend lakini unajaribu kujificha huko chini ya maji watu wasikuona. Unaenda base ya chomo na chomo cha hapo. Ai lakini huko hivi juu watu washaanza kukujua. Nasi ni huyu jamaa. Cuz hii kitu yangu ya white nimeishi kuivaa. Na watu wajua wangi kwa nini nilikuwa naiva some people na samanga mbona atoe hii kitu before i used to do a lot of road shows kwa ma dancers wamekuwa kwa game wanaelewa road show ni nini bro unaingia hapo 8 utatoka saa ngapi 6 na unadansia 800 na 800 ni mingi ukishakula 400 uki lunch kidogo unakula 200 fair mimi hiyo time nilikuwa naishi kitengela niende kitengela nirudi imebaki kama 200 yeah ka crash kangu kaniambia nikatumie credit kuna kitu nime make kweli hakuna So hiyo 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 ni yangu ya kichwa nilikuwa navaa sana sana juu ya jasho when you uki dance sana cuz mimi ni mtu most of the time unapata na sweat kwa uso hiyo jasho inakupiga kwa macho una feel ni kama macho zinauma so i used to wear it juu ya to prevent yeah. jasho na jua ikikuhit sana kwa forehead unajua sisi ni watu wa forehead so <laughs> ikikupiga hakuna <laughs> difference ya forehead na five head yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so hii ni five <laughs> yangu ni four yangu ni four and a half <laughs> Yangu ni five lakini ya pesa. <laughs> Touche. Okay. <laughs> so by then hiyo time yote siko najulikana. I did a lot of content nikaenda Mombasa nika nikafanya surprises mingi sana. Hiyo by the time hiyo watu wanijui. So ikafika Valentine season. I think no nafanya hiyo content for like four months. Eh? So ilifika mahali nikaona sasa Judith boy ame trend acha tumuache kidogo na pia mimi ni focus on on yourself. So see at little boy to diko sana unanielewa? Nile ilifika kila mtu ako na content yake na songe songe. Na lazima kila mtu ajibrand kivi yake. Okay. So mimi nikajibrand kama Moya David na surprises zangu. Naye akajibrand kama nani? Little boy. So you know from there you're the one who decides how you want to take your content. Cuz mimi see at nilimwacha. 
okay. alikuwa na content yake na pia alipata management mpya yenye pia inaweza msupport so for me i went my way i only went with my videographer by the way because mimi when it comes to ideas i have them i think that ndio kitu imeni saidia when it comes to ideas i have them even now i have so many ideas i want to do i have them in mind unanielewa so pia wangu siku mwambia anifuate by force i feel like moya has a dream na kona idea fulani na itawak Okay. That's why ni mystic na for very long. Ushai kana mtu unaona hata kama nini thick and thin. Mimi tuko na ujama. Tuko na ujama. So even ndo imekuwa. Yeah. Cuz mimi na I, I can say I'm, I'm a hard working person. Ikifika kwa hizi vitu za kungangana kutafuta do and everything. Piga kazi unapiga. Upiga kazi mimi nitapiga. That's why unasikia booking inaweza fanya mpaka saa sita za usiku. Ukinipigia tu hivi. Nishatoka. Hata yeye pia same Nikondani. same. Hiyo ndio imenisaidia. Si okay. nikisikia story mtu akisema story ya mama, of course it pains me. But now Nico like okay I don't have to explain myself. I know myself better than they know me. So yeah. si lazima niende. And then me I know kati yao watu wote have my real fans when you wanna nijua. Wameona niki grow. Press nimetoka, venye nimeanza kuando and everything. So mtu akikuja kusema ati pesa yenye nimepata imetoka kwa mama. Of course it is going to pain you but unasema ah ni sawa tu. Uwezi hmm. deuces. Wewe chukua kwa mama. Eh hey, wewe ukitafutwa kwa mama ukichukua ni yeye amework hard. Well and good. Why the FC doesn't want to explain? Just do you. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. Mimi nienda hivyo nika trend. Sasa time ni trend sana. Nilipata booking ya hiyo Valentine season. Yeah. After Valentine imeisha imeisha tu hivi. Yeah. Watu ndio walianza kuona video zangu. Like one day after Valentine Niliamka asubuhi nikapata almost most of the celebs on my post akina maina kageni nani sijui tuko wapi moya moya nilijivana na trend bro nikiangalia tiktok yangu inakimbia hivi hiyo time mara nakumbuka lit boy alikuwa almost like ana ndio anaelekea i think 800 nilimpita in a minute ndio hiyo mimi nishaingia mita kidogo 1.5 million so mimi mafans nilianza kupata followers hivi i was like ah mpaka nilikuwa naogopa but now the thing is for me i was ready for fame unajua wale mtu wako tu ready you are prepared and you are waiting most of the time i think celebrities wengi the reason unapatanga mtu ame train alafu ame disappear ni juu most of them wako wange waki expect yeah you see if you if, kama umesha work hard you have done everything by the time fame imekupata you are you are just earning it Nani ana wasi ati ni invested. Eh yeah, you've invested. Haikushtui na haikuwa ready. Ni kama umsa ameenda amefanya kitu leo alafu ame trend. All of a sudden ajui anzi wapi afanye nini? Eh yeah, unapata mtu ame trend leo anaanza kucharge watu 100,000 na tu kuniona ni 150,000 aje sasa. So mimi time ni trend nianza kuji package from the beginning. Si nimeanza ku trend saa hiyo of course yeye anza kucharge mtu surprise 40,000 aje sasa. Mimi nianza tu kuji package hiyo ni kitaji hiyo 14 so many customers used to come to me by the hiyo mwaka ya kwanza ya pili i was overbooked mimi december ungenitafuta uwezi nipata ha nilikuwa overbooked mpaka trips za outside the country na bado mpaka saa hii na happen same same cause mimi nilena nikiji packet the reason so, why i even have a company ni juni meenda tu nikiji packet you've done it for how long yani sahi this is the third year now and it's still consistent still bad in the do same same i jarudi chini venye watu wanasema moya ameisha bwana moya kidogo tumemwona moya tumuoni tena so what people don't know is uh, most of the time i'm invited in private party okay see yenye nafanya na ena na post okay private parties they actually pay a lot kwa sababu hawataki mambo mingi they have a lot of money they just pay you and that's it so job mingi nafanya zinakonga off social off media camera yeah kuna watu wapendi kabisa sura zao zikionekana za watoto wao yeah. wanaishi just private life na watu unapata they have a lot of money na they don't ni watu wajulikane kabisa i do for politicians wana record yao ya kubaki nao kwa family na wanakuambia strictly hata picha usiweke hata whatsapp so mimi nikifanya hizo gig unapatanga watu wanasema ni kama moya alidisappear moya yuko area ni kama moya amecha kumbe ni mtu amejipanga ni kujipanga tu and then if you don't show unajua hizi vitu si vitu za kuonyesha Cause mimi personally I come from a humble background. Mimi personally I think unajua mimi am I've been raised by a single mother. Who oh. is a reverend mwenye ameni nacha throughout. The by the way nilisema mama yako ni mutumishi. Yes. Ni mchungaji. Eh yeah. so ukikaa kwa hiyo life and then ushateseka ukaelewa venye life iko nini. 
So uwezi kuja kubragia watu. Ati I've bought a new car, I have a new house, I have Okay, si semi kuonyesha ni kubrag, but kina There are some people who post to celebrate yeah, because people, they've come from nowhere, yeah. but there are people who view with a nini of jealousy. Yeah. Ati sasa kina ringa hapo kisimu mpya, kwani iPhone ni nini? Na huu ni mtu mwenye amekuwa life yake hata anasema I just wish to have an iPhone. Yeah, yeah. Yaani hiyo ndio imekuwa. Eh yeah, siwezi taka ikae ni kama na attack wenye wanaonyesha hapana. No there are some who show with good yeah. intention. Yeah, with good na wakubrag pia. Yeah, yeah. Na there are some fans who look with good stuff and there are fans who look mm, itaisha tu. Mm. So we have different yeah, level so, of so fans. So for me I feel yeah. like the reason I don't even show off cuz hata time si kwa nayo yeah. si kwa naonyesha sina. Yeah. Na ndio na. So that's me. Na kwanga tu private hivyo. Okay. Tunaanga mambo mingi. Your girlfriend Ulimpata wapi mmekuwa pamoja for how long because time ya mama mama uka introduce girlfriend ukasema ah ana feature white anajaribu kuficha white na tumemuona <laughs> No 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 actually huyo yeah. sasa ndiye alikuwa girlfriend yangu okay so uh, siko na post ndio watu waona just posted because i know people walianza kuni attack for nothing oh umekuwa kiweka na and along, all, all throughout me i was dating i was in a relationship nivanya siko nimeiweka wapi Okay. kwa social media cuz now hii job nafanya utapata niko na makrash wengi sana okay. madem eh so niko na feel ni kama nataka kuweka chini ya maji ndio mtu nikienda ku surprise kama ni wasichana cuz mimi naenda mpaka baby showers ladies want to hug me take photos with the wasichana eh? mwingine ananiambia si unishike vizuri i'm like eh? ah, we si wendange na mimi hizo eh? baby shower sawa <laughs> mama wako na watoto you be surprised sana you be surprised we steve can you concentrate Hmm? Yeah yeah. Ige mi Arsenal unaangalia na kulipia nyumba. Very good. See we focus on the job. Yes. Is there anybody watching the game? Yeah. Okay. Then you guys since you are working, let's concentrate on the job. Because kama ni ile na kulipia eh wacha kazi tutazame hiyo. Wewe uko hapo. Sasa Arsenal ni timu ya kuvurushia mkono hivyo juu. Ningekuwa Manchester ningeend program sahi ama si ndio to end watch game ya Man U but sasa ni Arsenal bro. So come down. Yes. Utai watch badai ama u decide. Utakaje? Utaku watch. Anyway. So, madem wana kufinya finya kwa ma baby shower. Eh so for me I felt like okay the reason siko na mu introduce niko na ndaka pia the wakuwe free. When I'm interacting with the clients nini wakuwe too free. Okay. Mm. Usifina, yeah? Don't think there is another show here. Yeah, yeah, Unashika yeah. mboga ya mtu. Mm. Like wanaweza interact na mimi. Okay. Unajua ukijua mtu ana date uko like huyu girlfriend yake anaweza fanya hivi but my girlfriend is very mature by the way. So anaelewa hizo vitu. How old is she? Uh, I'm two years older than her. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay. No, that's that's good. That means sim ana ana utoto unajua ni kwa 2019 na wao mm. ni kidogo tricky mm. so the reason i posted ni juu nilikuwa naona watu wanani attack oh mama amefanya mama mm. mama for sasa nashangaa watu mimi unajua kuna story nilikuwa naona kwa social media mara nimefukuzwa sijui nyumba yangu ya kilimani hey, kilimani hey, nyumba yako ilifungwa ukambiwa mimi ndio kilimani bro mm. i've never lived there ah sijawaishi kilimani so kufukuzwa kilimani na virago in the middle of the night tukanyang'anywa mpaka mpaka prado kama kuna mtu tulikuwa na tuna, tunaishi na yeye kidimani ni bango anaweza mm. aonge aonge <laughs> ati ulinyang'anywa mpaka prado so the thing is eh, funny enough i've never posted any car i i bought ni, the only car i posted ni g wagon but i don't at see see ati niko na gari moja you don't have to show i remember that time ulikuwa na change face ya gari yako that time i called nikamwambia by the way mimi nime change rim na nini na nini yeah. my first car you know my first car i bought it in the first two months ya ku trend two months lakini see at i was ready for it i was okay. saving up because i remember hiyo time ndikuwa na pita the reason I, why i bought a car you know jua pia magari ni liability ngoja sound wanasema sound imeenda low kidogo wewe unafanya hii lakini wasema kweli wanasema sound imeenda chini kevo yule mse na global g gas mnasema sound imeenda chini eh, kevo yule mse pia anasema sound check please Eh ndio nyi mko hapa mnaweza sema wewe na watch game ya Arsenal eh wacha watu waambie sound sound iko sawa eh nani mwingine sound iko fit haya sound iko sawa tuendelee wewe bana wachana na hiyo techno ako like eh kuzuri ama kona ile ya phone ya ji ji 
I brought her. <laughs> so, eh? Uh -huh. So I was saying. Uliku me jipanga na gari. You didn't now, post. Because now, by the time, ni na, hiyo time ni kwa na demand sana sana. Yeah. So, tao ni na pita pita na maua ni kitembea. <laughs> okay, me siku buy gari juu pressure watu, but now ilifika mahali, kila nta na ni book. Uh, in a day, I'm a book you are surprised as come a nanny. Na so, na you own a pig a sabu, Nafakwan in Major Fitcher Kwanza. Uh, if I could on a canic figure. So, Mutua Uba Kifika Siana Kushukish. When I'm away, I'm a kanjol. Lipa, trippy measure shook. I'm on a figure and do the other commandi at E. Goja Nixan, who surprised Unito Apatena. Pia Garia in a tint. Mm. No, no, so in a cool tuning gum. So, for me, I didn't buy a card you wanted to show off or anything. I bought it for business. Okay. Cause pia magari ni liability. Liability. Yeah. Kama una ganji na kuwa na. Wendi bossi unaosha gari na kuna nyesha. Ni moajiwa. You are like three of my friends that you are now the third one. Mvua na nyesha lakini zima. Pele kagari kwa wash. Mi mvua iki nyesha. Guy. Kama yao gari yangu. One week. Sasa na na si gari si ndani ni safi. Na mvua me nyesha sasa ina na kuwasha naosha nini. Ni vanya sasa mimi nasa na ena magig mimi sasa mti kiena na gari chafu na shindo na we we na bidi basa i usiku sana na kusurprise na ni usiku atangali a gari sasa mimi ufanya job but atangali a gari sasa kwa paki kati kwa ni jiwagon eh watu jiwagon pia ni muda pia pressure vwe mnye sisi imagine na ujama na ushaga gari you can even hear it's raining that's why the sound is kidogo mushkil but I'm very very happy for you I'm very happy for you so before we wrap up because you also have team meet that coming in the next few minutes. Uh, Maswali, any question you want to ask Moya and the Kenyapo at Yakona Subaru Forester White? Subaru? Forester. You're new Wongo, Anna Subaru Forester. See, we sound the Kopoa no more and Wesi Muzuri. Because our Tinapenda Umbea Kagideri ya Ukambani. Oh, Maniko Kabani, ni Ukambani. Questions that you need to ask Moya, Mutume questions come at Tano Sita EV, then we can. Uh, we can wrap up anything that I've forgotten to ask. Ati, aki watu wa suti na kuwasha gari ni vitu mbili different. Mbona muna shout? Tap, tap, tap. Leo ni mebodela huku Facebook, imekua moto. Watu wa tap, tap the screen na huku hapa. Ask moya ye upreya kifesu wapi bana. Jamana jituma. Unajua ni mtoto wa reverend. Mamaki anamuombea na ungea na yesu direct. Is he married? Uh -huh. No, but I'm seeing someone. You are seeing or you're dating? I'm dating. Kuna tofauti ya seeing na dating? Yeah. I'm seeing a Marie. <laughs> I see her in her relationship <laughs> from over here. I'm like, okay, I see you, baby. I I'm see. dating. But I'm we dating. are not dating. Okay. Ni Syria sama ni... Mademo ngina aneza tuma ni application... It's serious. Oh, it's a serious thing. Okay. Moya, keep going, bro. You are doing a good job. That is Moni Kanduta. Uh, I am Jerry and Oliza. Does TikTok pay you? It pays. Yeah. Sana. Mostly for me, through endorsements. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. On Oliza, umenona, unakula nini? Nikupikiwa, bro. Nikupikiwa. Oh, you guys live together? You live in the same house? With your shorty? Same apartment. Na pita na jirani. Na kidogo, jirani uko kwa nyuma, piti ya kidogo hapa, then I end up, I make up of one month. Wanasema uneza wabibi wapili. Aki watu wako na nja hapa. That guy who you are suing about dancing like you, mulifika wapi? I think... Mi yara niliacha kushugulika. But uli mshitaki? Uh, okay, si kumshitaki. Mm. It wasn't that serious. What I did, I just copyrighted my content. Which content? Yes, si kusumu. Tule kitambaya kichwa? Mm -mm. Because ngoma siyo yako? I, I, I copyrighted my choreography. Oh. Nekama tu NFT tu. Oh. So mutu wakifanya? Unamusu? You know, I think siju, watu walikuwa na yenea wa aje, but... Ni kama tu artist, when you come up with your own thing, let's say a song, nanini, beats, na kila kitu, they are fresh, nizako, you paid for them, nanini. So we uo na copyright yo. Anyone mtu wakitumia, then you can get to earn for it. So whatever I did, me, I just copyrighted the choreography. Okay. 
the songs and everything that one in case uh, to me and my artist artist as I am as a photo and I but me I just copyrighted the choreography that's it because that a mimi yeah. wimbo enye na to me it's copyrighted okay so artist money I shall copyright the song so me kid na is a copyright apple a dance move just dance movie yeah. okay okay of which now it was settled now never I think you've seen on social media so many people are trying to do whatever I've been doing ni wengi sana Mm. But ule alifunga baka kitambo ya white. Baka kona nyuela kafunga nyuma kama wewe. Na alikuwa menyo. Uyu ali overdue. Ali, ali, Uroja kio bi na hivi. Lakini I did, a, I did a background check. Nika kuja kudialize. The guy also used to copy venye. Mtu kama the pruto wanafanya hizo ma. Oh, he's a so, copy. Uh, copy so, mania. Yeah, venye nidiona hizo <laughs> vitu nika, nika muelewa. Ah. So, saa hii. I don't think it's a big issue na ni kitu ya kitambo. Okay. Mm. Niliona ni vitu ametry kufanya. Akiona Obina ako na live show anaenda naweka meza yake pia. <laughs> Anaita watu wake pale wa techno pia wanaanza kureko. Bora imetokea tu. <laughs> so venye niliona hizo video ah mm. nikaelewa tu. Okay. Mm. At Obina you are really working yani four interviews leo. Uona sema four ni nane? <laughs> Kuna zile tu record mtaona on Thursday. Yeah, yeah, bado, but thank you. Thank you for noticing. Ati, amenona mwambia sikuwe kama kasipula, ende gym. <laughs> Moya atuambie, gym moja, Moya atuambie prices. Alisha sema, rewatch the interview. Hizo zote nilisha ongea kuziusu, zikuapo. Eh, diaspora tour, do you have a diaspora tour? Yeah, I wanted to do one in yeah. the USA. I'm still arranging. But whichever comes first, kata ya Saudi ni kwa andaka kufanya. Okay. But he, because I've been to Qatar, Dubai, Wapi is okay. But Saudi no demand because you South Africa, okay. Eh, yeah, you got a go man, Billy. Yeah, I have songs. Yeah, eh, yeah. Obina Mambi and Appenda songs, Zach and Billy, and Achia Lini new song that's Bushiri Ramazani. We only fan Wango. I come back to you. Eh, yeah. song of Mambi and Akujalini. Eh, Sema and Appenda San Angomea compare Valentine. Song of Mambi as in a Kamlini. Soon I'm working on an album, by the way. Ah. You know, kwa hii nini si lazima ukua ati unaimba, but you can... True. Yes, of course. Kidi DJ Khalid. Yeah. Pia we naona muziki kidogo, naipiga. Bro, I've done I do watch music your songs. since whatever. I have over 55 music videos. Yeah. That's videos. So imagine audios. Na kuna video nime spend less than 100,000. Piga times 55. Na bado wa Kenya wa janambia, yeah! <laughs> but I'm not doing it for them, I'm doing them for me. I feel good. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Yeah. You see, for me, actually, Kitamo Nikuwa nafanya a lot of content. Yeah. Nafanya video, napata, as you party views, the main family angu to na watch, but. <laughs> <laughs> At least me, Zangu is in Africa 40 to 50,000. <laughs> so, after after some time, I realized yeah. Pia, Kuwa famous in a side year, because now, yeah, Sai YouTube channel, Yangu videos, you can 100k for, uh, I think, views, Ziko Midioni. Like most of my videos, in the Africa. Camp. Yeah. Past million. So whatever yeah. you do now, as long as unaifanya for fun and for you, yeah. we piga tu kitu yako. True. Itakuja na watu tu wata ya appreciate. That's true. Yeah. Actually, ata hiyo song nimefanya juzi, it's doing well. Kabisa. Yeah. 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 Mesema unazi DJ Khaled tu. Yeah. Tuki songa na ayo. Yeah. Tuki songa na ayo. Sonda must to ingia hapo uimbe. Yeah. As long as you, you can invest in the music. There's, there's a lot of ways to kill a, kill a rat. Eh? Yeah. 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 Provided it's working. When Oliza come on into Sam Sam Tollard, who is who is Sam Tollard? Is it like a footballer or something? Sam Joey. Just Sam Tollard. Yani mulikom na kazana wamu na watch football lana mudi ya wamu footballer. But na sound kuwa footballer. Yeah, na sound ki footballer footballer ivi. Yeah, yeah. Go sour. So thank you so much, my brother. I appreciate. Anything I've for, I've forgotten that you want to address? Uh, I don't think so, but now I yeah. think I just want to maybe address how because most of the time I find people when I jali book book, but they don't know how to book okay. and the process. Okay. And uh, I just want to clarify things. Camera and you here. And you camera. Eh? Yes. I just want to clarify things. Okay. The reason why I opened a company is not that I have a lot of money to waste. I'm a vituka hero, but I felt like first thing, of course, I created employment to some of the people in your nafanya job apo. Okay. The second thing. So many people were going to call me through my name, oh. and uh, the thing is, people felt like Nikama, I'm part of it. So I wanted to clarify because the, the whole essence of Kufanya is a price. See, you are in attack of unpesa. 
I need people to understand because people feel like Moya Mejieka expensive and I charge what to pesa mingi, but what we sell here is the experience at Moya Supplies Limited. That kind experience, I think you've been there before, you've seen it happen. For me, as a car, as, as Moya, I sell the experience. And you know, another thing, people walikuwa na niingilia sana, they used to tell me, oh, Moya unarudia the same, same song and stuff like that. Okay, mtu sija surprise ye hafi hivyo kwa. Kwa ke ye hafi hivyo. True. We usha haona, lakini mtu ninapatana na ye for the first time. Anataka hiyo ngoma. Anataka hiyo ngoma. Hiyo dance move. Na anataka hiyo dance move. Na... So, sometime, most of the time, the client is always right. Siyezi mtu wa menelipa pesa yake dhati kei, alafu nianza kumambia apana. Sifanyi hivi imbo, kwa sababu kuna kenodhi ya pade kwa DM, <laughs> ama kwa comment section. <laughs> Anafeel, ana tumeovadu. <laughs> tumeovadu, ama ingoma tumeifanya sana. Na chagua nyeno, ingine. Chagua ingine. Mm. Mimi, by the way, I'm always open. Kala nda kisema nifanya a different song. Mimi nimefanya ngoma mbaka za kichainisi, my friend. Eh. Another thing, people feel like Moya, are you creative in a way? Hezi kuja na choreography ingine. Bro, I've been dancing, nimefanya choreography over a thousand. So mimi ni dancer nimekua kwa hiyo game. So kutengeza kuria one minute for songs is not hard for me. So yeah. if a client comes to me and aniambia andaka ni kudansia kegosho, I'll work on the choreography and I'll do it. So what was the feeling ni kama I'm tiamo overdoing the thing. Of okay. course, I'll, I'll, I'm going to do some changes and here and there because already kama Valentine and I was doing my own song, the new song with Valentine. People appreciated the song on my penda na ime songa sana. Another thing, when you know, people used to think I'm the one calling people like, because when you know, when you know, ID, you know, when you know, ID, you know, when 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 sura yangu hapo mwingine ana, anaweka picha kwa wall ukipiga simu nime smile siongei au wana video call the view once hello okay eh hey, yeye moya day is our right so ukishaona picha unadhani ni mimi so many people wengine hata ukijaribu kuwa convince at see wewe they still think it's you okay. kitu nataka watu waelewe i don't do this because i want money ama kitu kama hiyo hii yeah. kitu nilianza just to create uh, to create, uh, to, to make people are happy outside there, I was just doing it. See, Tolinado. Yeah. Me, I was just doing, doing it to make people happy and stuff like that. So, mtu wa kinibuka feel ni kama moya, hame ni overcharge, hame moya, hame pisha pesa. Me, I just sell the experience. That's it. Okay. And the reason why I opened the company is because ya hiyo conning sana. So, kama unatafta moya, let's say uko diaspora, now you don't how do you know tampata because most of the people i think when atafutanga mtu wameshaniona na mimi i think pia wewe kuna mtu ashaikubuka sema nilikuwa oh bina nilikuwa na moya but i've sent people your number unaambia via moya nilikuwa na moya hivyo so most of them inakuwa ni watu wamene recommend but now the, the only way perfect way to do it i have a contact on my bio okay. on each of my, on every social media account from tiktok instagram facebook my number is there that is my office line once you get the office line, you can call anytime. Ah, what on a job 24-7. So you can book through them. You can actually also book uh, buy cakes from my company as well. We do we do sell cakes as well. Yeah. So Nakama, how taki kupiga picha. Ah, I mean kupiga simu, you can go, you can come visit the office mwenye. So in the time when you can actually come and say, Nedukuja wapi? Kwa office. Usipiga simu, ukonu and then now you you start coming to me. Nimeenda kwa ofisi. Nimeenda kwa DCI mara tatu. Eh. Hey. <laughs> Menyanganyana 14000. Eh, yeah. but when I go to the DCI tunaangalia nyenye tunaona his story he makes sense na hata ukipiga namba ya Moya, me when you call me right now number in case you have my direct line wewe unajiri direct. If it's a new number wewe unajiri direct wapi? Kwa kampuni so they have to call you back. So hata mtu mwenye anasema ako na namba yangu direct in case any course in end up so akuna mad me i don't do this i cannot call people i love dancing i love dancing i love kuna sasa mimi nimechoka ku dance wetu ma pesa alafu eh i love seeing people happy na mimi sijawahi backfire kwenda booking yote ati mtu ameni book nikakuna pesa nikakosa kwenda okay i make sure i do if i'm not able maybe i'm outside ama circumstances may happen nikakosa kuapia i refund back the money that's it okay mm. there you have it so book the brother and unaji wagon zingine na watembee hizo maspa zangu i have one spa in gong road okay mwambie inaitwaje na iko wapi inaitwa moya city spa yeah it's a uh, opposite greenhouse gong road the building itself inaitwa applewood it's the first shop at the entrance 
another shop I have another one in uh, Kitengela it's a spa as well inaitwa Moya City Barbers but I recently nimeongeza side ya spa kuna salon as well uh -huh. so watu wote wa Kitengela Mombasa Road in case you happen to be around Kuiva pitia pitia hapo pigwa chef yako safi una massage watu ni tag kila kitu ile ukishanyolewa wanakufanya kitu sasa zingine mimi uko na massage Ah we wacha mimi sikuji hey. kama ni wewe una ni massage stack si wanaume oh ah thank wanaume god labda kichwa menishtua ah 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 uh -uh. <laughs> ah ah dokyo mara <laughs> <laughs> mimi nataka nakuja nikishanyolewa unajua when you go to the salon ama kinyozi si ya kunyolewa hiyo mm -hmm. massage after unakaa pale wa corner hivi unafinywa hivi unafinywa hivi unazao shida zako kuna hizo mm -hmm. pesa ngapi kinyolewa hivi kunyolewa in a depend kama ya kite is very cheap around 400 kitengela kitengela around 400 wacha nichome mafuta ya tao by the way i gave you a compliment ali na hujawahi kuja you know we have a fight shida ni yo complimentary imagine <laughs> bro i have so many people who always tell me obina oh, come do this do that you know nini nini but always feel i go then umeshamalizwa alafu unatoka alafu unaenda ati unaambia ma receive eh mazao anaanza kuongea vibaya so mimi ule wacha tu nikuje nilipe no no mine they are different eh. as long as bossi amesema eh fulani anakuja so you are kilimani i can even pay the tip for you haina shida naambia everything on me kuna happy ending eh <laughs> <laughs> Sio kufurahi bado bado ni happy ending. I yeah, uh, know what I mean. Ndio <laughs> anyo massage alafu anyo massage. <laughs> <laughs> But I'll come through. Applewood opposite greenhouse yeah. in uh, Kilimani. Tomorrow what am I doing tomorrow? Oh no 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 tomorrow I'm very busy on Wednesday. I might come through on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Remind me write it down on Wednesday to end the I remind you twende eh yeah. unaona sasa niende huko pia ni bariki shop so yeah. and uh, whatever rumor you've heard about me by the way what my fans yeah you know me well it remains to be a rumor it remains to be a rumor okay yeah tumekupata so those who hate me pia unajua uwezi kosa mtu mmoja no of course no ni sawa ni sawa mtu wa matuna ndo unapigwa mawe mm. yeah not everybody can can like you but team moya very soon tunaleta mambo mengine tungoje tungoje wewe unatupea pressure wewe <laughs> kijana mdogo ameanza ku dance juzi ameshanunua ji wagon mimi nimekuwa kwa industry miaka 11 nimeshindwa kununua range rover rover range rover 10 million ni kitu kushinda mtu tuseme tu uko na priorities unaona uko na watoto mimi sina mm, tubaki tu hapo kuna priorities si priority liabilities yeah. <laughs> mimi priority yangu ni range rover <laughs> by the way i'm a big fan yeah. one mtoto wako mdogo ako kachan ah yeah. nakapenda sana by yeah, the way is is late. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, asante sana for coming through to the interview. Mm -hmm. Wacha tuiwachie hapa kwa sababu nimeona Timitidi hata ameshaingia kwa nyumba. Yeah. Na unajua huyu anakuanga cheese. Tricky day anaweza kuja tupige hapa si wote. Unajua ni mtu wa kasabonyo. <laughs> <laughs> so we're coming back with Timitidi at uh, 40, uh, 15 minutes to midnight. That is in the next uh, uh, 19 minutes or so. Sindio 19 minutes. Yeah. So afike tumaliza na moya nini hata mimi ni relax leo nime interview watu wengi unipatie kitu 15 minutes hivi nyipi ya mchukue data bundles so in the next 18 minutes 17 minutes we are coming back with Timothy that all the maswali muko nazo za tricky day alikuwa wapi alienda wapi mbona wanasema kuna kiburi sijui nini is the godfather of a genge tone ye na kendi kendi wanafanya ile video na kendi Kenya wanafanya ile kitu story yake na kustress kuliendaje all those questions you want to know about him it that he's in the building we're gonna be doing it in a short while moya asante sana keep doing what you're doing let the people talk because people's gonna talk potatoes gonna potate and the earth still gonna rotate you know some and then kuna mtu alikaa hapa akasema we are sons of the almighty we will only lack when they kill god sure si ndio si unajitu umeona eka kazi tusonge nayo mimi nakushukuru pia wewe kazi nzuri vida zako pale safi nunulia jamaa wako sweta <laughs> e, pneumonia hii ni enzi ya baridi pneumonia itamini so unaona mimi watu wangu wako na masweta sweta huyu ndo anajifanyanga body ufa <laughs> na senali so unaweza watch game for the next 15 minutes before to the activity that thank you so much my brother thank you for, thank you for watching me. comment like and subscribe i'm seeing you guys in now 15 minutes time with timity that wacha nichukue kombe la